if I've never told you before, I love YouTube. And not because I'm a creator and I get on here and make videos. I learn so much from you guys. I tell people, I say, you know, I'm a YouTuber. And I get two reactions. It's either we don't watch YouTube. Or they say, oh, man, I watch it all the time. I learn so much stuff. I, and then me too. I have saved hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the years from people just like you that do videos on life's little hacks that can make it better for us. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, like maybe you're trying to change the brakes on your car, you know, and you don't really know how, and you pull up your car, and there it is, and the guy's showing you exactly how to do it. So if there's anything out there that you know how to do, I encourage you, please, make a video. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if your camera's good. It doesn't matter if the quality's good. As long as they can see, and you're not moving the camera around a lot, you know, try not to do that, and they can hear you speak, I have a video that has 1.7 million views. I'll put it right up here somewhere. And I want you to get a chance. Go watch it. Look at the quality. This thing was made seven years ago, maybe. Not my idea. Somebody else. A guy did this idea in his backyard. I thought it was cool. It would work for me where I live at. It's all about fishing with PVC pipe. And uh, it's all over the internet. And you'll see what I'm talking about. If you see something that you like, that you think it helped you tremendously, please, please make a video of it because I'm fixing to show you something that helped me. Voles, I'm gonna put a picture of a vole up in the screen up here somewhere so you'll know. Cute little fellers. I mean, they're like little hamsters, but they are herbivores and they will eat up fruit tree bark. They'll eat up, you know, like here's gonna be my blackberries. I got one out. I was just testing it to make sure it wasn't going to die. My blackberries, in the wintertime when there's no grass for them to eat, because they love to eat grass, they love to eat the root off of your vegetables in your garden. They are not a mole, they are a vole with a V. Uh, I had about, I don't know, maybe 150, <laughs> something like that. They live in colonies, and uh, I had a group, a colony of them here living around these pallets. The way I knew it, my neighbor's dogs, they love to hunt them, kill them. They don't eat them. And uh, so I put in this little bait station. Saw this on YouTube. Matter of fact, the gentleman has a patent on it. So, you know, I'm not trying to make them or sell them or nothing. I think it cost me maybe $7, $8, I don't know. Uh, that one fitting there was $1.69, so that kind of gives you an idea. And fittings are always the most expensive part. Got me a strap, a couple of long spikes. Uh, I don't have it glued. It has a T. I put this on with a screw on. You don't have to. You can just put a cap if you want to. You can make these tubes as long as you want. I would say this caution wise. This thing will kill rats, mice, and voles. I use two inch so the little vole can get in there because they're pretty good sized little fellers and the rats are especially. In here, I'll give you an idea. I have filled this thing two times. It has a rod that goes through it. You put these cakes on here. There is two and a half cakes. This thing holds eight. So they have eaten uh, four and a half cakes. And this is the second fill up. So that tells you, I mean, they were eating three of them cakes in an hour. And those are pretty good sized cakes. Got a hole through them. Piece of all thread, nut on top. You know, just drilled a hole through there. Put a wing nut on the bottom. Set it so that when it goes down in there, it's, you know, down close enough to the bottom. When they eat the bottom, when it just slides down, it's like an automatic feed. Works great. I wiped out an entire colony right up there. They stay in a diameter of about 60 feet diameter. And there can be anywhere from 30 to 70 in that. They were everywhere. I would sit inside the RV and I would look out the window and they'd be four on the ground. And some of them was babies, littler, and they'd be just grazing, you know, eating the grass and stuff. But they'll get into your seed They'll just, they'll just eat anything. But like I say, I wanted to show you this thing because it, it, they're amazing. I've got another one down there. I'll walk you down there and I'll show you what we got down there. Another thing I forgot and I want to bring this up. We've been working on this, uh, we've been working on this garden and uh, it's finally dried up a little bit. I've got some things planted, but the first thing I noticed was this and I knew we had them, but uh, if I can find the tracks, here we go, uh, deer tracks. And this deer went right through the garden, right down where I planted all my potatoes. <laughs> of 
of course they hadn't come up yet so and cut across turned around the garden and came back so i have ordered a thousand dollars worth of fencing to fence this place off extra post actually ordered 75 uh, eight foot t post hopefully i can only put them in a foot in the ground and uh, i'll have seven foot of fence and then i'm gonna have uh hot wire on top something to keep the deer out because i know what's going to happen i've got 36 tomato plants to plant and i can plant them now but uh, i'm keeping them up next to the house to keep them away from everything in the pots till i can get this fence put up okay now guys ebert and i were down here uh cutting down some more trees and we were burning uh, a lot of brush we got some over there on the other side of the boat and of course like i say we do have a boat now because we actually have some water in the pond but while we were down here working I saw mice running in here and I'm sure there's probably rats field rats and everything else because these trees stay loaded with hawks and these hawks are fat and they just look good because they're eating voles out of that field over there and what happened was about two weeks ago they came out and they bush hogged that field and when they did my place filled up with those voles but I whooped them now here's the other one I haven't seen any voles out here. I'm sure there is, but I haven't seen any, but I have seen mice. So I put this here two days ago. Now you can see a little better look at it. You can make these pipes as long as you want to, and you can make this as tall as you want to, and you can put a longer rod. This thing would be great, like in a barn. You could put it against the wall because the rats love to travel the edge of the wall. Strap that thing to the wall this way. You can screw your cap in and off. Load that thing up. I mean, I'm putting eight on mine. I mean, you could put 20 on it if you wanted to. And then just check it every so often and fill it back up again. Every time a rat comes by and gets a mouthful of it, he'll be a goner. So two days ago, this one had eight on it. I filled it up. Let's just see what we got. Two days. Well, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five and a half. So they've eaten two and a half. And if it's mice, I can understand why they didn't eat near as much. And uh, so maybe there's not a lot of voles. Or maybe I have it in the wrong place. I mean, there is something here because they're eating on it. So my intent is to move these farther and farther out on the perimeter. Set them on these fence lines. Give everybody a good chance, all the rats and the voles, to fill up on them. And then I will also take them back up here and uh, test them again. Let me tell you the best way to check to see if you've got a vole. Don't build the bait trap or nothing. Just take your round piece of pipe. Lay it somewhere where you think they might be. Maybe they're running next to a wall. They like to run next to walls and stuff too. Then after you get it laid where you want that piece of pipe, put you a piece of apple in there. If you think you've got voles, that piece of apple will be eat up in about 15 minutes. They'll, they love fruit. So that's the best way to check to see if you've got voles now. But now, if you think you might have some rats or something like that, you could put you something in there like peanut butter and see what they do. If they eat it up quick, then build you one of these. And keep. And then when you get done with it, put it up in your shed, clean it up, wash it off with a water hose, and I guarantee you, these things are mean. I've got a video coming up about our house. We've ordered it. It should be here in six to eight weeks. So thanks for watching, guys.